Okay, hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to make bracelets like this. This one is blue and green, and the other one I've made is green and black. If you're wondering, see, pretty sturdy. Yeah, sturdy. Good morning, it's, I made them out of construction paper, you know, just normal, everyday construction paper. Yeah, it's very thin, it's kind of like paper, but colorful. So, um... I request to make a bracelet and show you how to make them. These little pieces. So you're going to do is take a piece of construction paper, fold it into sixteenths. As you can see, I cut. Yeah, but you're going to want to fold it in sixteenths to get little tiny squares, and then cut out as much as you need. I make this one has eleven lengths of each color, so twenty-two lengths total. This one has twelve lengths. I just made this one a little bigger, but fit to wherever your wrist size is. So, cut out as much as you need. I'm going to show you how to fold these. So this is one of your 16 squares. You can either fold the paper in the 16 or fold it in the 30 seconds. I find it's easier to fold it in 16 and then fold the 16 into half and get your 30 second. What you do is take the piece of paper, fold it in half, crease it, Take a pair of scissors, or you can just rip it and cut it or rip it down the line. What you do is take one of these, so it's a 30 second, you know, fold it in half and crease it. You're going to unfold it and take this piece and fold it in the middle and take this piece and fold it in the middle. So you like that. Just be careful because the paper does rip pretty easy. So, if it does rip, just kind of fold a little rip piece like that. See, mine did rip, but I just folded it up. Doesn't matter. Okay, so I fold this one in half, and I fold this this piece into the middle. Okay, fold it in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect, just as good as you get it. So, okay, so fold it in half now. A little tiny piece. And you take this, and you're going to fold it in half. Don't make me hit you. Sorry. So you can fold it in half. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Um, you can take this piece, and you're going to fold it into the middle. You can take this piece, and then also fold it into the middle. So you, what you end up with is... Make sure you crease it real, real good as you fold it. You come up this little V. Just a little V. Okay, so you're gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna show you one more. So I'll take the piece, you're gonna fold it in half. Fold this into the middle. And then fold the other side in the middle. And fold that in half. Piece. Fold this in half, and then fold these sides into the middle. You end up with a bunch of these little links. And the bracelet I'm doing is pink and purple. You can do one solid color, you can do two colors, you can do three colors, you can do as many as you want. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to start with the pink one. You take the pink link, I'm gonna start with the pink one. Take the pink one so that it has no this side has like no creases. You see it's just kinda of like the flap on the other side. This side has a bunch of little creases. That's the bad side. It's hard to get other links in there. So what the good side, which is no creases. Facing the side that you can put the other link in. I'm gonna take this one. And put the bad side up. Kind of push it out a little bit. Things should open. And then stick, stick the purple one into the pink one and slide through. Again, it doesn't matter which color you start with. Do whatever your preference is. And you're going to. Uh, so after you stick together, you get a V. 
and then take your pink one again, bad side up. So do that. Now you got the good sides, so the purple. Stick this through. Sorry. See it now? Just push it through. Pull it through. Nice and tight. So you kind of get like a little zigzag pattern going. So just keep going. Until you get the correct size. Again, you're probably not going to need the whole piece of construction paper. As I saw you show you, eh, as I showed you before, I didn't use the whole piece of paper. I used a very small sliver of it. Shut up. So anyway, just kind of keep going <laughs> until you. Okay, this one doesn't want to go in. Stupid piece of paper. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, sometimes it helps if you get like one side in and then you do the other side. Or maybe if you get something to help open. Fail. <laughs> Sorry, my sister's sitting next to me, judging me and throwing wrappers. You're welcome. Everywhere. Why'd I grab the pencil for? Hello, tube of you. I have this little like wooden thing. Sometimes it kind of helps. Okay, this pink one doesn't want to go in. Anyway, but you want to keep, you want to keep zigzagging, pink and purple, pink and purple, until you get long enough like this, or this, this one's shorter, like this, and very carefully take, I don't know, I always use these little thumbtack thingies, to have a bunch of them sitting right here, and then carefully punch a hole through the end, and you could kind of take one of those little circle things. And some wire pliers, some pliers, and open it, and then stick a little clip on it. Use any kind of clip you want, and there you go. You have your own little pretty little bracelet. And it's cheap and affordable. Nice pretty construction paper. The end. Make sure you subscribe and watch my other videos, and like and comment and rate and, you know, the usual stuff. Goodbye, two of you. If I can get the button!